Cancer, welcome to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are going to do a timeless uh, reading for you all just to see what is going on. What is your energy like right now? What do we need to know? What is important for you right now? So let's go ahead and start shuffling. So we are asking for the assistance of Hecate today. Please let us know what is important for a Cancer to hear, what is valuable for them to know, what are some challenges that they are going through, what is some you know positive things that they are going through, what do we need to know for a Cancer. So I'm seeing that you are going through um, a bit of a time that you may be having a hard time balancing out your situation. Maybe you're working a lot and, you know, if you have children or you go to school or you just, you know, take care of your family or even just yourself, you know, you're really struggling right now with like balancing out your situation and um, spreading your time evenly. So that's something that is very challenging to you right now, uh, Cancer. So you're having a bit of a hard time with that what else do we need to know about that okay so you are trying to put yourself in a situation that is just not working you are um, trying to shove yourself into something that is just not going to happen so you know that could be with you know if you're working going to school maybe you have a family there has to be something where you cut back um, you know if you are doing so many favors for other people and no one's doing them back for you you know sometimes you just have to cut those ties and think about yourself if you are at work and you know your boss makes you feel bad about taking all kinds of extra shifts sometimes you have to say no so definitely like let go of something because I see that you are um, your personal health is suffering your personal life in general is suffering because you're just basically doing too much you're trying to shove yourself in a situation that's not working um also for some of you you know you could be trying to force yourself in a relationship with someone where it's not working you and this person are clearly not um working out things aren't going well so i could see that for some of you as well okay and you know, I see that you have a lot at your disposal, a lot of people, um, money. I feel like money is pretty good for you right now, Cancer. Um, we are not necessarily in an extreme amount of need. You know, you have food, you have a home, you have, um, you know, money to make sure that you're being taken care of and that you are doing okay, right? Um, so, and I also see for some, you know, most of you, um, that you have people that care about you. You have friends, you have family, you know, a cancer is someone who is definitely very deeply emotional and you're like a good listener. So a lot of people really enjoy, um, you know, being friends with someone who's a cancer because you can offer like that psychic insight on what's going on. You know, you are very emotional, you feel things on a very deep level, many cancers and water signs in general are empaths and so, um, you know, if someone's talking to you about something, they feel it, or you feel it very deeply and you're very understanding and so you could give good solid advice. So I feel like you have a lot of people around you that very much care about you. So um, I feel like it's definitely important for you to like reach out for help and um, you know, allow your friends and allow your family or a partner to help you and, um, you know, be open to it because I feel like, again, you are the type of person that definitely, if you see that someone isn't doing something right or if somebody is just not offering help, you're just one to do it and not necessarily complain. It's, it's something that you may think about and something that's on your mind, but you don't necessarily like complain and um, make other people feel bad. It's just you take care of it and then it's done. So, you know, I definitely feel like it would be very beneficial um, right now for you to ask for help. And I feel like in a way that you, you feel like right now that the world is just not being fair to you. You're very much struggling with that emotion, you know, maybe um, you're just going through a really hard time and you just feel as if you know, life isn't fair. And again, you're not necessarily like complaining to other people. You're not letting other people know that they're hurting you. You're just kind of going through it silently. So again, that goes back to 
you have all these people around you that do care, but you put off this aura and this um, energy that you're handling it. You know, you go to work, you, you know, maybe go to school, you take care of your family, you do the grocery shopping, you do everything you need to do. So people think you have it. So they, um, they don't think they need to check up on you because no, you know, you don't, you don't ask for it. You know, you don't call people and ask for help. So I definitely feel like that you are, um, a very strong person in that way, but you also need people to worry about you as well. And then we have the moon. Okay. So you are uh, very much contemplating a change. You know, you, you know that you need to do something different. You're aware that you're running yourself thin. Again, I feel like for some of you, um, your health may be suffering. You may be going through um, some pain. Maybe you're not sleeping well. So I definitely see that you are definitely struggling in that way. But you are, you know, again, you're very contemplative. You're thinking about what you want to do. Maybe it's a job change. Um, if you are with somebody, you know, maybe talking to your partner about um, switching up workloads so you could have more time to yourself or, you know, even just telling your partner, like, I need a break, I need help. Um, if you have a family member that could help you with children, if you have them, um, say, like, hey, once a week, can you watch my kids so I could do this, you know, do something um, because I feel like you really need to do something for yourself. And so you're, you're very well aware of that. You just need that extra push, right? And I see that you are, you're very calculated in the way that you think about what you need to do. So you're thinking about if you make this change, how much is it going to cost? Um, will your finances still be in order? Because you are, you know, like I said, I feel like you're doing pretty well with finances right now. Um, you're thinking about your finances, you're thinking about your family and um, everything else besides yourself. So you're definitely like counting all of those things and seeing if this is a reasonable change. But also, you know, within that you need to think about yourself um, you know I feel like that's something that you definitely have a hard time with a cancer um, you know definitely does tend to think about other people more so than themselves so you know you really do have to you know calculate in how you're feeling as well because you can't keep on um, you know forever going through this eventually you are going to run out of steam and crash and burn right okay Let's pull one more. What else do we need to hear? Okay, so I see that you are, um, you know, as we see in the artwork of the card, the cat is kind of like trying to go after that bird. I feel like in a way that you are trying to find like an easier way out. You know, you're thinking that maybe um, if you just, you know, work a little bit harder, if you, um, you know, maybe pump up the energy drinks and coffee that you're drinking. You're trying to find a way to not change any behaviors that you're having. You're wanting to just kind of like find an easier way out, trying to find something that is just easier to do instead of changing those around you because you feel very overwhelmed by this. That's another very strong characteristic of cancer is you definitely tend to feel very overwhelmed. So I definitely see that you're uh, frustrated and overwhelmed by this situation. But again, make sure you're thinking about yourself because I do see that you are running out of steam and you definitely need a break. Even if it's like one evening or afternoon a week just to go out and do something you want or stay home and watch a movie by yourself, you definitely need some time to yourself. So, you know, I would um, very much contemplate that and think about that. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I very much appreciate it. If you liked it or you enjoy pick a cards, please uh, hit that subscribe button down below. That would um, help me out a lot. And I do post daily, okay? Also, in my description box is my information if you are interested in a personal reading, as well as my Etsy shop. I do make intention candles and handmade soap and lots of other uh, magical goodies. So if you're into that type of thing, please check out my description. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.